Ends in. The designated hitter, Luis Arroyo. The pitch. Fall off foul. At the belt and fires. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Playable Betts makes the grab and there's one away. One down. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Swings through that one for strike one. With Tatis at the plate, we're looking at a player that is never going to be considered boring. He's an electric player that manages to make plays most players wouldn't consider trying. And he plays the game his own way. It's a big reason why he's considered such a fan favorite. Wouldn't chase that time. One out, base is empty. And he caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Now batting jerks in profile. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Wastes no time there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Manny Machado. A swing and a miss, and that's oh, strike one. one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one ripped right center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Coming home. He'll score, and it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Upstairs. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Right side. Into the outfield base hit. Machado rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by two. Stringing them together, that's three that hits in a row. Good. Turned on that it nicely. Good. Definitely a Same little way. out in front of the pitch, cool but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. That's out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmond. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Center field. Merrill should have this one. One away. Mookie Betts now made his debut with the Red Sox in 2014 and actually hit all run against the Dodgers in 2016. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mookie is fantastic for baseball. A great player, big personality. He's played for some of the most popular teams in the league. One down, base is empty. To third, Machado. And Betts oh. is set down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. swinging second inning we set to go Jake. now here's Jake Cronenworth Otani back to work and first offering is fouled off 
Otani, 29 years old, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Next oh, offering cool. is downstairs. Seeing he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Smoked to the left, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Right Textbook here. bat control the right there. Got a pitch on the outside, Donovan. saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Here's Donovan Solano. And that one fouled off. Goes up empty. Well, that's that slope right there. Oh, he threw it extremely well. We talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting up. The catcher. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. In the air, right field. Bets on the move. Nabs it. Runner tags and will move up to third. Betts quickly gets it back in. Runner holds on at third base. And now, Luis Arias flied to right his first time. That oh. one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. one. A runner at third with less than two outs. This is the guy that usually Aye. comes through in these spots. Next offering is in for a strike. Back up the middle and a base hit. In comes the run from third. And they're up by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. You'll often hear the now phrase that, short right to it, through. long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Tatis waits. Hit weakly on the ground. Off balance speed. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The line of the pitch. Hard on the ground to first. He'll do it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Max Muncy in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that one ripped to left. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Will Smith stands in now and watches strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. One ball, one strike. In the dirt, nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Next offering in there for a strike. Going to count one, one and two. Two strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Batting seven. So one out with two aboard. Andy Pajas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That misses off the outside edge. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two on, one out. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. The Dodgers trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Out 
side, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Muncie at third. Smith on second. Pajes over at first with one away. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And he dropped it. So that's a foul ball, and he gets another chance at the play. Three. And now it's Gavin Lux. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swings and misses. Oh, with two down. Two outs. Just off the outside corner. Now one and two. That one hit to right. Drops into the glove. And that ends the inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine. New inning getting started. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson Profar. Otani back to work. And that one fouled off. You know, these Padres doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! That one felt good, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Manny Machado now. A double and a run scored his first time up. Up oh, and in, and that's ball one. And the pitch. And another ball. You just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. That one fouled off. Here's a 2 1. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Swing and a slow roller. Throw on to Freeman, and one away in the top of the third. Next to hit, Jackson Merrill. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. One run across to the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Hernandez has it sized up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. It's Xander Bogarts now. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Tie a guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. Next offering misses, and the count even 1-1. One and, one. and the righty deals. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Freeman right there to make the grab. And Back here at Dodger Stadium. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That hey. one's in there. And it's 0-2. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Here's Mookie Betts now. He's 0 for 1. And there's a strike. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. 
Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season oh. in Mookie's career. Machado throws to first in time. Two up, two down. Freeman batted for the second time, and that's oh, one, strike one. Down. Hit on the ground to the right side. Cronenworth throws out the first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. And now here is Jake Cronenworth. Here the right hander back to work. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing no, it on the first pitch. The first Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. Oh, that was right in his wheelhouse. He oh. didn't miss a stitch. Solano, the next to hit, takes ball one. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. That oh, one misses, and it's 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if it'll walk you. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, one down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice oh, ride up Catch in the zone right there. Oh, Hitter looked he like he was on that. it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Kicks and fires. Ripped on a line. Yes. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now, now with two away. Well, oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. A gigantic blast. And they add on. It's seven nothing. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Jack Flaherty. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this player has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And it's fouled away. Two out spaces empty. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Good nope, eye in that ball. spot. Two balls, one strike. And Three another ball. ball. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel nope. great. Machado stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now it's going to be Jackson Merrill. Left-hand batter waits. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning.
Back here in L.A., bottom four. And a batter down Teoscar Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. And that misses off the outside edge. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here comes Max Muncy. Doubled his first time up. Foul ball there. Strike two. Pretty good pitch backed up a little bit, expecting it to go middle away, and it just sort of stayed on the inside corner. Probably good take, because he would have gotten jammed had he swung the bat. And he deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. The batter now will be Will Smith. And he's already singled in this game. That's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Two down, nobody on. Just misses with that one. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs. Off the mark there. Ball two. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And we're back. And here is Xander Bogarts. The right-hander back to work. First pitch swinging, Bogarts, a former All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in Aruba. That's to third, and foul ball. And he'll two. Ball one to Bogarts. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Here's the second now baseman, that. Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. In the air, left field. Hernandez ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Stepping in for San Diego, Donovan Solano. One for two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Yeah. Late on that fastball. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Man on second, two down. That one ripped, and it goes just foul. Ball to strike. That one blasted deep to right. And it one hops the wall. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 9-0. And he's got a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. He's got it. And that is out number three of the inning and now here's the Dodgers designated hitter Andy Pajes and a breaking ball drops in for a strike 
clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even He's shrink out. it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And a foul ball. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Swing and a miss, no and he number struck nine. him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That's outside, and the count is one and one. On the ground. Cronenworth throws on to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit left side. Edmonds slings to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Profar climbs in on that left side. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Such an impressive performance out of him in this one. His third hit for extra bases. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Machado oh, one, now in the down. box. Comes up empty with a swing there. The Padres up big in this one. And we're the top half of the sixth. This to third, Muncy. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. First and second, one out. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. One for three. That one almost got him. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And now it's one and two. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. And here comes Sander Bogarts. In the air out towards right center. Hernandez hustling after it. Tracks it down for the out. Bottom of the sixth inning. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Darvish back to work. Rip to right. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now batting. Right here. Here's Mookie to hit. Mookie. Bet. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll touch them all. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-2. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Here comes the 0-1. That's a ball. Fought off foul. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Fights it off, he'll see another. And the right-hander deals. Hey. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home run. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. A dive, and he can't haul it in. 
around second now as they still don't have it. And he'll make it into third with a triple. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Ground ball right side. He's in there. And it's 9-3. And up to the plate is Will Smith. That one clips the outside corner. Strike one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Higashioka pulls it down, and there's two gone. Andy Pajes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. There's a strike. And they'll do it again. Already three runs across in the frame here in the bottom of the sixth. Bogarts fields it cleanly, tosses the first, oh. out number three. here at Dodger Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. And a foul ball. The pitch. Slider ball, misses outside. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And that one hammered. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Run comes in from second. It's 10-3. Not in time. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the now run. Man. Off the bat, that one registered. Yeah. Tony Gonsal into the game. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pin when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's an eight-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And here is Luis Arias. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab one away. So man aboard now one that, down and like it's Tatis at the play. He's already homered in this Junior. game. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Hey. Swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Pitch misses there. Yeah, that's ball two. That one missed. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And a 3-2. Double play ball to second. Over to Edmund. Over to first, safe. And at first, jerks and Profar. The next up for the Padres. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. 
Pickoff move to first. Tatis gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Swung on, belted. Betts going back. Got it. Bangs against the wall and holds on. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Kike Hernandez. Jeremiah Estrada on a pitch out of the pen here. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Next offering way off the plate. Yeah. Last ball for a strike. And a pitch. And that one ripped into right. Tatis makes the catch. One up, one down. Gavin Lux, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. Outside. Hit hard on the ground to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Two up, two down. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. That one finds the zone. It's strike one on Edmond. Down looking. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. And a pitch. Manny Machado. Hit hard. That gets through. So, man aboard, next to hit, Jackson Merrill. Oh, can't get out of the way of the fastball, and that's going to sting. Oh, looks like it got him in the forearm. Not much padding in that spot, so we'll see him tatted up tomorrow with the bruise, likely. Swings through that one. Okay, swing now. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it. In the dirt, kicks away from the catcher. Both runners move up on the wild pitch, and the double play is no longer in order. And he swings over the top there. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Two on, one out. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Swing and a ball lifted left field. He makes the grab. Runner tags for third. Row cut off, now to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Stepping in for San Diego, Donovan Solano. Popped up. Freeman has a beat on it. Brings it in. And that'll do it. Bottom of the eighth. Here's Mookie now. The pitch. That one pushed foul. Estrada goes six foot one, 185 pounds, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. All over that one right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the hey. ground, it's going to find some holes. Freeman in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing oh, sound God. defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Oh, Off the two. mark there. The count now two and two. two, two. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Merrill snags it on the run. And 
And now Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss. Oh, one. one. Count. That one fouled hard the other way. Got him. That's out number two. The third baseman, number 13. Muncie digs in. Matt. Muncie. First oh, offering and it just misses. Right through there for a strike. Betts off of first with two away. Hey. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And yep. that one missing low. Got hey. it by him for the K. And we're back. All set to start the ninth in this one. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. The why to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Freeman makes the grab. And there's one down. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And now the DH, Luis Arias. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Fernando Tatis Jr. digs in now. There's a swing and a drive. That ball's carrying. And that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 13-3. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well. And that one fouled off. The Padres up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. That one lifted to left. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Robert Suarez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now it's even up. I got a ball, one strike. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. pitch Three. struck him out looking the batter, number now it's the DH Jeffrey Andy Andy, Pahas. Andy. just oh, off the right. outside edge and it's one to know that one fouled off base is empty one away we're in the last half of the ninth inning ground ball the middle that's a base hit Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Oh, and two now. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Merrill going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but... Wind just absolutely killed him. Lars nice. in the box with two gone. And yeah, takes a look at a called strike. That's nice. through there for a strike. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Three. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 
offensive explosion today for these players. They gave up a few runs, but they had more than enough firepower to turn this one into a blowout. 13-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomney saying so long.